This is what is making news right now. As attacks continue, who really started it? Israel broke the ceasefire. But Israelis say, not true. We will fact check it. Fairly. Honestly. But, but, but this is important, and this is something I want to break down for the viewers. Yesterday, you and I were sitting here, and we had a conversation uh, with Mustafa Barghouti, who's an independent legislator, Palestinian legislator. Right. And he said that most news organizations have ignored the possibility that the people who actually broke the ceasefire was not the Palestinians, or not uh, well, Hamas yeah, in yeah. Gaza. What he said was, in fact, let, I think we've got that. Dan, play this, and then we'll give you some uh, more information on it. Let's go ahead and go to that. The world uh, press community or uh, media community is overwhelmed with the Israeli narrative, which is incorrect. The Israeli spokesperson have been spreading lies all over. The reality and the truth is that the side that broke this truce and this uh, ceasefire was Israel. Two months before it ended, Israel started attacking Rafah, started attacking Khan Yunis, and never lifted the blockade on Gaza. Gaza remained without fuel, without electricity, without bread, without medications, without any medical equipment for people who were dying in Gaza. 262 people died, sick people, because of an access to medical care. So Israel broke the ceasefire. And you know what we did? I, I've checked with some of the folks here at our international desk, and I went to them and asked, what was he talking about, and do we have any information on that? Which they confirmed two months ago. This is back in November. There was an attack. It was an Israeli raid that took out six people. Now, let me refer you. It's not just us. We checked in other periodicals. Johnny, go over my shoulder if you can. Here we go. Uh, the six-month ceasefire started coming apart at the beginning of November after Israeli commandos killed a team of Hamas fighters during a raid on a tunnel they suspected was being dug for kidnapping of Israeli soldiers. That raid set off more Palestinian rocketing. That's U.S. News and World Report. I got, I got another one for you, I believe, here. Okay, this is also, this is The Guardian. Questionable, but nonetheless. A four-month ceasefire between Israel and Palestinian militants in Gaza was in jeopardy today. This was actually reported when it happened, after Israeli troops killed six gunmen in a raid in the territory. That's important to report. And here we go as well from the economist.com. And the point of contention here is this one. Johnny, one more. The last straw came in November when Israelis killed six gunmen, it said, were digging tunnels to launch a raid onto Israel, uh, uh, spurring Hamas to respond with a barrage of rockets. So the question is to who started this. And we've been hearing that the Israelis say they had to do this because suddenly the, uh, the ceasefire had been broken by the, by Ga in Gaza by the Hamas and the Palestinians. Is this now a little more in question? You know... That is absolutely true, but just as true as the fact that if Israel hadn't started shooting first in this case, and Israel said, we had security reasons, imminent security reasons. There was no real deal here between Hamas and Israel. Israel still reserved the right to go in and do any attack where there was a, a primary uh, a security interest there. And they said, our soldiers were going to be kidnapped. We had to do it. But, you know, I guess what it is, Americans, we, we, we like our order. We want things delineated for us. We like to see a quid pro quo. They're saying this happened. Are they right? And they're saying this happened. Are they right? It's almost like we're left, when you talk about the Middle East, you're left with such subtleties that sometimes everything is a vagary.